Hello, beloved. I am wearing my rose tinted glasses because this is such an extraordinary, life transforming, earth shattering, global changing month. And that is because Pluto is going back into Capricorn, or Capricorn's going back into Pluto for its final path. It's at an extreme degree and it's going to bring whoo, all of our learning since 2008, boom, right centre to our lives. So it is huge. On top of that, at the opposite end of the scale, we have a full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces. So it's very emotional, darlings, and it's very psychic. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, gorgeous Leo. How you doing? Last month will be a very different experience to this month. Last month, you were probably out there in the world, hopefully being adored and honoured for the fabulous creature that you are. This month, you're like, right, I want security. I want abundance. I want to feel like safe. I want to know what I'm doing. And you're building things. You're laying strong foundations for a fabulous future. So that is great. Now, obviously, the big thing this month is when Pluto re-enters Capricorn and it's the final pass, 16 years of this energy. And let me tell you this, you'll be very relieved to get rid of it. Because I think for you, you may have felt unseen, which is the worst thing for a Leo, or like a little bit more reserved. And you're going to come back into your full power after this. The themes that you would have been working with in the past 16 years are about your health, your well-being, habits, patterns. There may have been something very strong that happened in one of those areas. But you've got this now. And Pluto re-entering there is just a reminder that you've got it. And to keep on track whatever you've learned in these 16 years, to put it into action permanently, to put it into play permanently, to have firm boundaries, to look after yourself. And to know that the truth that with small changes, great big strides ahead can happen. So if there's any final changes that you need to make, please do it now. The next two months are really important. Then we have a new moon in Virgo on the 3rd of September. And again, it's about you committing to security and abundance. Letting go of anything, any people, any situations that make you or that you feel insecure in, or you don't feel supported, that haven't got that grounded feature that's about building up the future. And it's it's very, very positive. So use that energy. You might be feeling a bit more like a dreamer this month, as Mars, the planet of action, is going into Cancer. So it's like, oh, you know, there may be a lack of boundaries from other people, particularly masculine people, you may find you don't know where you stand with them. There may be a kind of daydreaming or fantasies or, you know, pleasures, but they're not kind of based either in reality or it's just people with fuzzy boundaries. Or you yourself having fuzzy boundaries because you don't really know what you want. You want to daydream more than act this month in general. Whether that manifests in relationships or whether it manifests in, you know, whatever. It's a great time to dream. It's a great time to write. It's a great time to meditate. It's a great time to be psychic. It's a great time for you to put those gentler ideals into play. But it probably you won't be feeling like you want to rush around a lot because it's, um, you know, fuzzy wuzzy. Um, what else is occurring? We have Mercury re-entering Virgo. Again, the key word of the whole of this month for you is commitment solid foundations. You're literally not interested in anything or anyone that isn't solid this month. And you're like, right, you know, this is what I believe in. This is who I am. And I haven't got time to waste anymore. I just want to push ahead. They, the full moon in Pisces is a partial lunar eclipse. And you have this moment where something is revealed. It may be something that was hidden from you, it's something to do with power, powerless, primal emotions. It could be about affairs, love triangles. But something is there that is going to be revealed. Before that, though, Venus is trying Jupiter. So there's a lot of positive energy around you and a lot of groups of people that see you and appreciate you and adore you. 
But if there was anything shady going on, that's likely to be revealed with this full supermoon. And not necessarily straight away. And it could potentially be connected to your work or it may be that some new work is offered to you. But you'll know. It's, it's a very full on. It's quite emotional and intense. And probably when you come through that moon, you'll be like, mm, this is one thing in my life I need to end. I need to turn a corner with. Now, the sun is going into Libra and also Mercury is going into Libra on the 22nd and the 24th, on the 26th. And you are really having interesting conversations and you're also much more confident about your thoughts and what you've got to say and how important it is. And you're not afraid of speaking your mind and you may be having really important conversations that will lead to something significant in your life. So pay attention to what you want to say. If you've got something important to say, say it at the end of the month and you should get a good reception. Venus is going into Scorpio. It's making you want to be cosy, be homely. You want to have the people that you love around your place or you want to be around their place. You don't really want to be out and about. This whole month really is about you building on things rather than sort of being out there and, and doing things just for fun. This is quite a serious month, which could lead to great abundance, wealth even, security and something fabulous that's long lasting. So that is really, really good. Look to the future this month and what you want to build for the future to come in and where you see yourself in the future and who you see yourself with, what job you, or commitment you see yourself making. And those are going to be the only things that interest you. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for the love you've given me regarding the Nightweight Tarot. If you haven't got it yet, it contains all of my love and passion that I've had for tarot since I was a small child. And the book gives you an easy way to not only work with tarot easily and quickly, but also to manifest. You can get it from the dreaded Amazon or all good bookstores. So thank you once again.